Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw an e-grid. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the top part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. On the bottom right side, make a small mark for the lower half of the body. Connect the small mark to the circle using curved lines to finish the guide for the lower half of the body. This guide should be similar to an upside down arc. Pay attention to the size of this guide in relation to the circle. On the top right side, draw a small circle as a guide for the head. The head circle should be small in relation to the body. Egrets have long necks, so don't draw the head too close to the body. Inside the head, draw a horizontal line as a construction guide to help you place the facial features later on. On the left side of the head, draw a long triangular shape as a guide for the beak. The beak should be nearly twice as long as the head. Draw a long wavy line that connects the head to the body as a guide for the neck. The top of this line should curve to the right and the bottom should curve to the left. Under the body, draw a long vertical line as a guide for the leg. Bend the line slightly in the middle to indicate a joint. At the bottom, draw two shorter lines as guides for the toes. On the bottom right side of the body, draw a small square-like shape as a guide for the tail. First, draw two sloping lines for the side of the tail. Close off the shape at the bottom with another line. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small circle for the eye. Place the eye on top of the horizontal construction guide close to the left edge of the circle. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. Inside the eye, add a tiny dot for the pupil. Make the sides of the shape pointy for the corners of the eye. Draw a couple of curved lines around the eye for the bare skin. Keep these lines close to the shape of the eye. Use the triangular shape on the left side as a guide to draw the beak. Darken the top part of the guide for the top edge of the beak. Draw a long line across the shape for the mouth. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the line when you get the shape right. Extend the line to the right so that it's inside the head. The right side of the mouth should be under the eye. Darken the bottom part of the guide for the lower section of the beak. Slope the line up so that the shape is slightly thinner than the initial guide. Draw a short thick line on the top part of the beak for the nostril. Add a few more lines inside the shape for the creases on the beak. Connect the top part of the beak to the eye using short lines. Break up the lines to create a feathery texture. Use the other shapes as guides to draw the rest of the head. Darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the head. Follow the triangular guide to make the shape of the head longer. Use a series of short strokes as you darken the underside of the head for a feathery texture. Extend the lines farther to the right to create the back of the head. Add a few short strokes inside the head for texture. Use the wavy line under the head as a guide to draw the neck. 
first lightly sketch the shape of the neck around the guideline. Draw the edges of the neck close to the guideline so that the overall shape is thin. Curve the lines so that they follow the shape of the guide. The bottom of the neck should be slightly wider than the top. When you get the shape of the neck right, darken the lines. Don't make the neck too thick. Lightly sketch a long curved line across the entire body for the folded wing. The bottom of the wing should be inside the tail. When you get the shape right, darken the line. Make the bottom part of the wing thin and pointy. Darken the top part of the initial guides for the top edge of the folded wing. Draw a few short lines inside the shape for the individual feathers. Use the long line under the body as a guide to draw the leg. First, draw a small triangular shape at the top for the base of the leg. Draw the shape using a series of short strokes to create a feathery texture. Darken the guideline to create the right edge of the leg. Draw another long angled line close to the first line to make the leg thicker. Keep the shape of the leg thin. Draw the shape of the first toe around the line on the bottom left side. Make the tip of the toe thin and pointy for the nail. Add another thin shape at the bottom for another toe. Draw the toe that points backward using the initial line as a guide. Make the tip of the toe pointy for the nail. Add another thin shape on the left side for the visible section of the last toe. Now draw a similar shape on the left side for the other leg. Draw a curved shape at the top for the base of the leg. Draw two long angled lines for the rest of the leg. Keep the shape of the leg thin. At the bottom, draw short thin shapes for the toes. Not all the toes will be visible from this angle. Make the tips of the toes pointy for the nails. Don't overlap the first leg as you draw the toes. Draw the backward facing toe on the right side. Use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Make the top part of the body slightly taller than the initial guides. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. At the bottom, draw a series of short sloping lines for the feathers on the tail. Don't overlap the folded wing as you draw the tail. Now go over the final lines with permanent ink. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Take your time and be careful when you ink your drawing to avoid any accidents. Don't ink the initial guidelines, only the final drawing. When the ink dries, erase all of the guidelines. Now color your drawing. Color the beak using yellow-orange. Use brown and orange to add shadows on the beak. Use yellow for highlights. Color the eye yellow. Color the legs gray. Use black to add shadows and creases on the legs. Color the nails black. Use light blue across the entire body to create some shadows on the white feathers. Shadows will give the figure more dimension and volume. Add a bit of gray to make the shadows darker. 
Pick a light source as you add the shadows so that they're consistent throughout the body. Here the light source is coming from the top, so most of the shadows will be on the underside of the shapes. Add a cast shadow at the bottom using gray and a bit of blue. Coloring can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Keep coloring until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the egret. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.